vision of the company or the mission of the company has always been treating others as we would personally like to be treated. And, and that, that just resounds throughout the organization and everything that we do. In 1937, my dad was a meat manager uh, in an A&P store. So in the spring of that year, um, a lady came into the store where he worked looking for the manager to ask if he would be interested in a store she had. The manager wasn't there, but my dad overheard the conversation. The story is that he kind of followed her out of the store and said, I'm interested. The heritage of innovation is from the very founding of the store, a young meat manager named Joe Ucrop taking a risk and deciding that, you know, I'll, I'll leave my job with a stable company to go, you know, try something on my own and, and forge my own way. In the early days of our company, the business was really based on the ethics of my grandparents and my parents who learned from their grandparents about really trying to serve people and look out for people. They felt like they could open a business, they could serve more people and help their family. You know, later on, that heritage of innovation and taking risks and listening to customers led them down the food path. Back in the early 70s, they, they weren't able to get high-quality bakery products in their stores. And so in 1976, Dots Pastry became part of Ucrops, and eventually the Dots Pastry name became Ucrops Bakery. We would not have a business today if it weren't for the support of many, many people within the Richmond community. To me, we're working as a team to enhance the quality of life for all residents. After its founding with Joe, his oldest son, Jim Ucrop, started within the business. And really, as that business grew and they opened a second store, it became part of both Jim and Bobby's vision to make Richmond a better place to live and raise a family. And they, they believe that if Ucrops did the right thing and they were able to make the community better by doing their small part and make Richmond a better place to live, everybody would benefit. 10% of our pre-tax profits go back to the community. And we're really focusing on, on hunger, and especially childhood hunger. We encourage people to be a part of the community. Our leaders are engaged in organizations that help people around town. And we have been forever. That's just kind of who we are, whether it's the Salvation Army, Sports Backers, uh, the Greater Richmond Partnership, Swim RVA. People learn when they're involved in other organizations, and they bring back what they learn to our business. So it's just people helping people and really enhancing the quality of life. It's about you know, being the best that you can be. It's about en enriching the lives of people in your community. There's a reason why we have the tagline Nourish, because it's really about nourishing the lives of the people that work for us and the people that we serve. And that, to me, that's what the Ucrops brand stands for. People seem to have a reasonable amount of emotional attachment to the brand. We think that's something worth maintaining and enhancing. It stands for integrity. We want to keep that going, and we think we can broaden its reach to serve people wholesome food that does nourish them. I believe in the future of our organization. I believe in the future of our products, and I believe in our people that we can get it done. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Adversity, being challenged, that makes us better. Um, to us, it's a mission. We want to be the best in what we do, and we want that to come through every day in the product that we produce and sell to our customers. We started with our grandparents. Through them, the values that my parents operated by and believed in, that enabled us to have a business. I feel like it's my obligation to do everything I can to help see how many people we can serve through this business to enhance the quality of their lives.